Dory is coming out in just a couple days, and today we're going to talk about how you can prepare for her. Let's get right into the video. First of all, for Dory's boss materials, which you're going to need to ascend her, you're going to want to come to Sumeru and grind the Electro Regisfine. To fully ascend Dory to level 90, you're going to need 46 of the Thunderclap Fruit Cores. Next up, for Dory's talent materials, you're going to want to come to the Steeple of Ignorance on a Tuesday, a Friday, or a Sunday to grind the Velocities of Ingenuity. For Dory's dungeon boss materials, which you're going to need to ascend her talents past level 6, you're going to want to fight Ajdaha in Beneath the Dragon Queller to get some of the Blood Jade branches. As for Dory's mob drops, you're going to want to fight the Eremites which can be found all throughout the Sumeru region. I will leave a link to a map down below if you want an easier way to grind these, but you're going to want to farm them for some of their rich red brochades. As for Dory's world materials, you're going to want to farm the Kalpata Lotuses, which can be found all throughout the mountains of Sumeru. Again, I will leave a link to a map in the description if you would like an easier way to farm these. Next up, we are going to talk about weapons and artifacts for Dory. Take this whole section with a grain of salt, as none of this can be confirmed to be the quote-unquote best, as this character is still unreleased yet, so there are no guarantees. But for the sake of the video, and for you guys who I know want to hear this kind of stuff, I'll give what the general recommendations are right now. But keep in mind, this is subject to change once the character releases. What we do know about Dory is that she is going to be a sub DPS healer who scales with HP. That being said, she's going to need a lot of energy recharge to keep her burst up on cooldown. So generally, she's going to want a energy recharge based weapon. Some good options if you are a whale or a high spender could be the Skyward Pride is a really, really good sub DPS option for Claymore users and can increase all damage by 8% and give a nice energy recharge passive, which helps keep that good burst uptime. As for free to plays or low spenders, some good options are gonna be the Favonius Greatsword. The Favonius Greatsword is just a all around good weapon. As you know, the whole Favonius line is very, very good for all types of units in this game. I think this will probably be your best option as a free to play or low spender. And coming in in a close second is probably going to be the bell this is an hp based weapon so far we haven't had any hp scaling characters who also use claymores so this weapon has been kind of unseen or unused for a long time now but finally we're getting one that may be able to use the bell as it provides a shield and it has an hp scaling passive as for dory's best artifact sets as we know she is a healer so some good options could be the four piece maidens beloved it's a very very good option if you just want to rely on her for healing however the better option is to provide buffs to your higher tier units instead of worrying so much about her healing because she's going to do enough healing as is so her best in slot option for the moment is either going to be four piece tenacity or four piece noblesse if you don't already have a four piece noblesse user on your team to buff your main dps units to get them to do more damage another good option is going to be ocean and clam this is reliant on her own damage dealing though so this isn't going to be as good as the other two options stated previously if you're really struggling to get um, a four piece for her and either tenacity or no bless you can also sub this out for a two piece tenacity or a two piece emblem as that gives dory more energy recharge and more hp Another good option could be two-piece Ocean and Huge Clam or two-piece Maiden's Beloved, as they both give extra healing bonus. As for Dory's artifacts, you're going to have a couple options here as to what you want to do. For her sands, you're going to want to run HP percent or energy recharge. It depends on how much energy you need at the time. I think Dory requires a threshold of 180 to 200 percent for energy recharge but that could uh, be subject to change, so just keep that in mind. So I recommend going a HP% percent Sans right now, just to be safe, because that is what she scales with. Next up, you're going to want to get a HP% percent 
Goblet, that is really the only good option for her. Yes, Electro Damage can work if you're really wanting to use her to get a little extra damage, but generally HP% percent is going to be your best option here. And lastly, for the Circlet, you have two different options, an HP% percent and also healing bonus to get some extra healing. As for Talent Priority, you're going to want to prioritize her Burst first, as this is going to give the most healing and is probably her best Secondly, you're going to want to prioritize her skill. And then lastly, you could probably neglect her normal attack unless you're planning to use a hybrid physical DPS story, which I don't see realistically being a plausible build. But you never know, there are those individuals out there. Anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of the quick story guide. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more in the future, please consider subscribing or leaving a like down below. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.